I'll be cooking this delicious fisherman soup for some government officials in my kitchen today. The special of fish I'll be using to cook this fisherman soup is called saltwater catfish, otherwise known as Ina in Aquabum State. After cutting it into different sizes of my choice, I wash it very well with clean water. Then I poured in some hot water and allow this fish to be soaked so that all the slippery substance on it will be off. I added some salt to it, then I wash it very, very well. You, you got to be expert in cooking this particular fish so that people will be able to eat it. After washing it, transfer it into your pot, then go in with your chopped onion, your salt, and also your fresh pepper. Then use your toner and mix everything. Place it on fire, add some water to it, and allow it to cook till done. Bring it off the heat in an empty pan on fire, go in with your palm oil and allow it to be hot a bit. Add your chopped onion and allow it to fry. I pick one piece of that catfish and mash it. I'll be using this particular fish as my thickener. After mashing it, transfer it into your cooking pan and stir it. This particular pattern of cooking fisherman soup is common among the indigenous of river states. I added some water to my cooking pan. Then I went in with my steamed catfish. I was very careful while cooking this particular food because I didn't want any of my fishes to scatter apart from the one I match. I went in with my shrimp, then also with my prawns, and also with my periwinkle. Then I used my wooden toner to mix everything carefully, just like what you are seeing over here. The next ingredient I added was my scent pepper, otherwise known as Ntwenokbo in Aquaibom State. I adjusted with a bit of water, then I went in with my Odusa leaf, otherwise known as Osusa leaf in the Igbo language, and I gave it one last day. If you love fisherman soup, go over to the comment section and write today I love fisherman soup. Then tell me where you are commenting from so that I can send you a special hook in my next video. Taste and adjust any lacking ingredient if need be, then bring it half the heat. Our soup is ready. Omo. The taste is out of this world. Fisherman soup is one of the most simplest recipes so far. Cooking it is not a problem. All you need is just carefulness and the right timing. Please note that you can choose to use anything as your thickener. You can choose to use your cocoa yam. You can choose to use achi. You can choose to use corn flour. You can choose to use ofo. You can choose to use even the fish that I use. Today's oak goes to Oscar Ben watching from Indonesia and wrote to me Olayemi watching from Kogi State, Nigeria. I'm glad you love the recipes. Let me know which city or which country you're watching us from so that we can send you a special orc in our next video. Just when I finished cooking, my guest arrived and I welcomed them with this old traditional food called Okang and this fisherman soup that I cooked earlier on. They ate and they really enjoyed the meal. They asked me a few questions about how I started and how I got to this point. I told them that everything is all about persistence and being focused in life. So many dreams that I want to fulfill and I know that someday my dream of setting up a nature kitchen where people can come in for tourism and take up vacation will surely come true. Thank you so much for watching our videos. See you in our next one. Bye.